So this is the sharp end of the dowel, and that's going to go in there to stabilize everything all the way down. For the plant that's going to come out of the top, I like the look of this Calanchoe luciae. Now this is not a stacked crassula, but it has that stacked look that I'm after. And my dowel came through that without injuring the plant, peeking out over the edge of the pot, and then over time that will grow and fill in and cascade even more. I like the way these uh, root balls fit perfectly in there. It's just a matter of tucking. You know, sometimes you don't have room for a big old clump, but if you take it and you open it like that, then you're looking for a more linear space for it. And here we have our Crassula perforata variegata. So really, a chopstick is your best friend. See how I'm using it to push down on the root balls? In determining where to put the Senecio, I'm looking up to see where the Senecio above it is going to cascade. Do I have room for this? I know you're thinking, no, she doesn't. Well, I'm going to find room for it. I want them to grow together. All right, so here's a gap behind that crassula, that lime crassula. So in goes the blue-green one, and both have a similar shape and red on their tips. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of combining blue-greens and yellow-greens. I think it's better to stay with one um, and do the whole composition that way. But in this one, it's united so beautifully by the shapes of the plants that, that I, don't, um, I don't have a problem with the, the two different greens. We have it. I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin in my garden.